最宽的肩膀，扛得住誓言不改变。我、哦、当强烈的信念，让命运都无言，浪漫成了。我的壮烈是无悔的经典。哦，不要想的爱是深爱，想不尽的存在却无处不在。维持爱到伤害，愿所爱,爱，黯然很多心海。感情一生挂怀，最无私的深爱是绝不要想的。爱。I'm surprised. You're such a good caregiver. My family was poor. And my father was disabled, so my brother and I had to take care of everything. You love your brother. You were very close to each other, right? Uncle Chin told you to say this. Whenever I talked with Zheng Sheng about her brother, she acted just like you. I don't care who you think I really am. I assure you, as long as I'm here, I'll take good care of you. Please stop pretending. Uncle Chin will pay good money. You surely have done your homework. Look, I will pretend that I believe that you're Zheng Sheng. When you get paid, let's split it, okay? <laughs> I see behind us. Okay, Uncle Chen. I'm here. <laughs> well, um, this girl can stay. Okay. So, what is your name? Oh, I'm. Uh, Duan. Take good care of Mr. Chung in the future. Don't ever upset him. Okay. <laughs> so, Duan, what do you think? You and I can split the money. Now you can go shopping at Lafayette. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going today? Uh, it's me, Mr. Chung. Where's Dua? Uh, she just called. She won't be available today. I see. We may leave now. Okay. Do you believe in love at first sight? I do. I fell in love with Xiao Wu at first sight. Come <laughs> on, Babao. Jin Liang, hmm? be honest. Do you really love Chinja? Hey, are you done already? You're drunk, Babao. Stop talking nonsense. Fine. I can stop talking, but you know the truth. <laughs> That's enough. Stop it. Don't cross the line. Stop lecturing me. Okay, Sharo. Listen, I swear, and I can swear on my life, that Bei Sha Wu is the love of my life, and I'm crazy about him. Look at her. Mm. <laughs> and you? You dare tell us who you really love. Say it. Tell us. Do you know what time it is in France right now? I wonder how Zhang Shang is doing. 
You, me, K Sharon, and Zhang Shang. We can all live a happy life. A happy life. Ma? Ma? I can do that. Can you get me a cane? Okay. <laughs> do you have mangoes? Uh, ma'am! Ma'am! Oh. Uh, you need to pay for these. You haven't paid. You can't leave. These are for my daughter. Stop! You can't take them! <gasps> Mister, she's with me. I will pay for them. We will pick a few more, and I'll pay for them. Oh, they'll we'll pay get a few okay, more. Sure. Okay, thank them. you. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen my mother? I haven't. No. These are for Xiaoju. Let me carry them for you. Enjoy your apple. Take your time. We have plenty. Ma! What are you doing here? I'm eating an apple. I'm hungry. Are you Xiaoju's friend? These apples are for her. I am. Oh, bring them to her for me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You seen it. This is what my... my life is like. You know what I think? Uh, I think I can help you out. Let me help you. Look after your mom. There's no need for that. You can go back. <sighs> okay, how about this? You stay at home during the day with your mom. I'll go find a job and make more money for you. Or if you feel uncomfortable using money for me, you can go to work. And I'll be the one to stay with your mom. Merci. Merci. A plus tard. Here, have some water. Let me open the window. Okay. Uh, Dua? Yes? Can you bring me... How about, about we go out? And take a walk? Okay, let's go. All right.
She leaned on me, so light like a lily, yet somehow I felt energized. She made me feel so strong and powerful that I felt I could fight against the fiercest sea dog. Mm -hmm. Because I knew that if the sea dog were to attack me, I wouldn't be scared and I would fight back. I wouldn't stop until I took its life. I feel much better now, she said, looking at me gratefully. Let's keep walking. I believe it was my strong will and bravery that made her calm down and regain her faith. That thought encouraged me. I felt that indeed I was truly rejuvenated. We were together for years, yet I haven't had the chance to watch him closely, to get to know what he likes and what he doesn't like, or what makes him happy and what makes him sad. In the end, I finally got a chance to know him. I had to, however, as a girl named Duo. Looking at Tianyo's gentle face, my heart started aching. Miss Zhang. Yes? Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Oh, I know that you are cautious, but I still need to tell you this. Do not tell anyone else about Tianyo's condition. Miss Zhang, Andrew informed me you haven't attended his painting class for days. Uh, I met up with a friend. Oh. Is there anything else? Uh, Liang Shang had to cancel his flight once again. I see. Miss Zhang, I hope you wouldn't be upset. You see, Liang Sheng and Wei Yang are no longer together. He can't fly over because he's caught up with work. He can't leave it behind. You've been here taking care of me. Don't you need to help him with his work? Uh, actually, taking care of you is the job that Liang Sheng asked me to do.
symbolizes happiness and protection. I hope that in Paris, we'll have a brand new start. Everything is fine with me. Hope you're doing well, too. Xiaojo! Xiaojo! I brought breakfast. Here. Here, go have some food. It's still hot. Oh, I'm running late. Huh? I've got to go. Then take this and eat on the way. Thanks. Oh, this is my mom's medicine. I wrote the... Instructions on this piece of paper. Okay, let's see. Two times a day. <laughs> it seems that my education has paid off. All the characters I know are written on this note. Okay, don't worry. I'll be here. Please take care of her. Hmm. I'll be back soon. Okay. Take care. Here, ma'am. Food. Let's eat. While it's still hot. <laughs> might be undercooked. I was in a hurry. So I got him. After cooking for a minute. My baby girl, let's enjoy the sunshine today. It's so nice and warm today. <laughs> Here, have a drink, ma'am. <laughs> this is sugar-free. <laughs> Xiao Zhou, let's go see some flowers. Take you to see flowers and play in the sunshine. Oh, you are such a saint, aren't you? You're flattering me. Huh? It's only normal for the young to take care of the elderly. Xiaojo oh, is so lucky that she has someone like you. Why can't I meet someone like you? <laughs> You're busy with video streaming and seldom go out and mingle. Of course you can't find the right person. <laughs> Xiaowu, you need to take care of her till 2 p.m. every day. Listen, if you need any help with your tea business, just let me know, okay? Remember, if you need me, I'm a call away. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> of course. You're a friend so indeed. Pretty.
almost pounced on him. The thought of Li Chi nearly being hit and injured. What? Li Chi nearly being hit and injured made me feel so depressed that I lost my temper. I know I. Danielle. Yes? Dr. Lee is here. <sighs> wow. Shaolisa. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Long time no see. You just won't let me go, huh? Since I can't treat you, then at least I can be here to treat myself to a free meal. <laughs> this is... Uh, she's... What's her name again? Her name is Duo. Oh, uh, yeah, Duo. Your maid? Uh, no. She's my chef. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, Duo, bring Dr. Lee a cup of tea. Uh, sure. I never thought that the Cheng Tianyu, who was once so indifferent to his countless female admirers, could be so gentle to just one girl. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Thank you. Should I be flattered you said that, Dr. Lee? Actually, I feel sorry for you and Yang Shin. We're only partners at work. You also didn't end up with him, did you? I did love him. We weren't meant for each other. So, breaking up turned out good. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. I need my own space. It's admirable to spend the rest of your life with your love. But that would suffocate me. <laughs> if that's the case, why don't you just go back to China? It's a big country. There's a slim chance you'd run into him. He claimed I didn't love him enough. Why is that? Lu Wenjun wasn't in his right mind. He seemed to be mysterious. I couldn't see through him. She's Lu and Jun's ex-girlfriend? Enough about me. It's all in the past. And you, Tianyu? Do you regret it? About what? What else? You ruthlessly pushed her into another man's arms, Tianyu. I don't. But it does hurt. You're quite frank. And not as sophisticated as when you're doing business. I lost my sight. And I may never recover it. What if you recover? Then I plan to get her back. At all cost. But what if... You find out that she's already married and has children. What would you do then? If I ever recover, I'll ask her to marry me, even if she's already married and has children. <laughs> Actually, I'm here to tell you that Someone hired me to be her psychiatrist. Dr. Lee is still waiting downstairs. Leo Sheng hired her specially for you. So please, do go downstairs and meet her. Please leave me alone. I don't need a shrink. As you hoped, that man loves her deeply. He told me that... She was traumatized by the tragedies that happened to her. But neither did she admit it, nor receive treatment. When she had trouble sleeping, I hired a psychiatrist for her too. He hopes that I can help her overcome the trauma before they get married. He wants to marry her.
By the way, she's in France right now. In Paris. Zhang Shang! Hello, Jin Liang. Did you miss me? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> You're looking good. Living in Paris suits you. <laughs> anyway... I've had a friend inquire about the charity you mentioned last time. We should hear from him soon. I've seen the updates on your blog and volunteer teaching. I've read them. Although you don't update as often as before. Mm. I've been busy lately. Oh, busy with what? Classes? <laughs> there be something new. My colleagues are talking about going to Paris. My feet are getting itchy, too. If you go to the Eiffel Tower, you may run into them. Uh, Jin Liang? Uh, I... I met... Met who? Uh, nobody special. I just met tons of amazing buskers. <laughs> that was new for me. <laughs> then show me some photos. Visual aids will help. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'll show you next time. Okay, time for my weekly sheet mask. I'll go to bed soon. Okay, good night. Hello, Tianyu? It should be nine in the morning in Paris now, right? Have you had breakfast? Yes, I have. Uh, uh, I called because a few days ago, I met with an investor who told me they had some funds, that their company are interested in investing. It is a huge amount. They were in a rush, so I drafted a fast proposal, and they accepted the terms. Oh, really? What kind of project can be so ready for investment? I think you know it already. The company is planning to upgrade Changshan Garden into a fully integrated high-end resort. Tianshan Garden? Look, I don't think we should rush into this. It's better to wait. Based on my evaluation, this is the best project we have. And it's perfect timing, Chenyo. If we miss this chance, we might not have it again. We can find other investors. No need to rush just for short-term gains. But don't you remember? We already built that Ginger Lily Garden project of yours. It's very famous now. During weekends and holidays, people would stream into it. You also had an amusement park built there. By combining the hotel and the golf club, this entire area will soon become a high-end resort. And this project is a low risk as well. Look, Tianshan Garden was designed for families to enjoy peace and spend quality time together. We must take every aspect into account before expanding it. Wait, are you turning it down because of the ginger lily garden? Not really. Listen, Tianyu, our group is in crisis. We desperately need a new project more than ever. I have other plans for that garden. I will tell you about it after I think it through. But the investor is waiting for our reply. If you have suggestions for this project, just tell me now. Wage up is in a remote area. It's not suitable for your suggestion of a high-end resort. Your idea is great, but I'm telling you, the first test field is vital to us. We must reevaluate. If you're guarding that area of land because of some personal reason, I suggest we talk about it later when we both calm down. Goodbye. <sighs> Miss Nyan, it's been quite a while now. Have you made up your mind? Are you still worried about you betraying the Chong family? Let me put it this way. Actually, I'm doing this to help Chang Tianyu. Now, do you agree? What do you mean? Rumors have gone viral and the stock price is plunging. Now, if Chang Tianyu doesn't show up, all the shareholders will fly in a panic. If we have a new chairman elected to handle this situation, we'll be back on track. It will be better than replacing him. I understand, Mr. Wang. You're being very considerate. Miss Nyong. You are a smart person, so I'm going to level with you. 
I do admit that I never liked Chang Tianyu, but his grandfather helped me a lot. I'll never forget that. With your ability, your influence in the entire group, and the shares I hold in Chong Yu, I'm sure I can convince the board to vote for me. And besides, my source has just relayed a new piece of information to me. We found out a third party has been buying the Chang shares in large quantities. Its background is unknown, and for that matter, why don't you and I work together? In case someone else takes over the Chongs, once I'm elected, I guarantee you, Chong Tianyo stays in the group. Mr. Wang, do you still remember how Mr. Chung has been good to you? <laughs> Miss Nyong, if you think I'm being an ungrateful, no good scoundrel, you're being unfair to me. But I assure you, as long as I have your support, I can convince the entire board to vote for me. I think that what you said is reasonable. You have a right to feel that way. So sir, what exactly will you do? Tianin, what's so urgent that you had to see me? Do you care to explain why you chose to cooperate with Wang Dehui? How did you know that? That's none of your concern. I heard that lately you two have been seeing each other a lot. Is that true? Well, isn't it obvious enough? It isn't obvious. What happened to you? Tell me now. Fine. I'll tell you what you want to know. I am working with Wang Duhui. Are you happy now? Do you know that by doing this, you're going to betray our family and betray my brother? We've been so good to you. Tianyo trusts you a lot. Why are you doing this? Why, Tianyin? Is it so hard to imagine it? Wouldn't I, after the loss of confidence that your family has given me over the years? Young Xin, you're way over the line. Tianan, all these years I've done so much for Tianyu. Yet what did I get in return? Now I just want to get what I deserve, this time on my own terms. What's wrong about that? So your way of doing things is to destroy our family? You are so naive. You think you can get my brother to grovel before you by doing this? That's never going to happen. Anyway, I've said everything that I can. In the future, if you need help with your work, don't come to me. Mr. Wang, I've asked around. I heard that Chung Tianen and Niang Xin had a fight. Also, the whole company already knows about the fight. You know, she was quite loyal to Chang Tianyu. Actually, she was quite obsessed. Hmm. Enough to betray everyone. Please enjoy your meal. Thank you. Merci. Lie down. Hmm? Careful. Sleep 
Good night. Mm. Good night. I lost my sight, and I may never recover it. What if you recover? Then I plan to get her back, at all cost. But what if you find out that she's already married and has children? What would you do then? If I ever recover, I'll ask her to marry me, even if she's already married and has children. All he did was to make you leave him, hate him, and forget him, and that was planned. I think when he forced you to drink the farewell tea, his heart probably died too. I can share the good times and the bad times with you. I don't want to be your burden. I thought you would have faith in me. I'm recording this video for you because... because it makes me feel that you're with me. I can tell you everything I want to say to you. I feel that you are right here by my side. It just hit me that if um, one day I'm gone and you watch this video, do you think you would feel... Like I was there with you, right beside you. <laughs> I, I think you would find it silly, right? Anyway, do you remember when we were still little? We used to say where there's Liangsheng, there's Zhengsheng. And where there's Zhengsheng, there's Liangsheng. I will always be with you. I swear. It's already late, and you don't know where she is. How can you tell me something like that? It's my fault. I'm sorry. Please calm down. We knew that he booked the ticket last month, but Secretary Yu said he canceled again. Perhaps because of his delay week after week, Miss Zhang has been feeling so depressed. 
So she went out for a walk. He's already purchased Chitian Biotechnology. What's he still doing in China? He cancelled the ticket over and over again. And leaves his woman alone overseas. That's so unacceptable! It's probably because of Wei Yang. <laughs> a man should be assertive, not indecisive. <laughs> Why do we have to worry so much? Here's the thing. Wei Yang hasn't been well lately. Liang Sheng has a soft heart. After all, they have been together for many years. Since Liang Sheng isn't here, your job, Mr. Chen, is to keep a watchful eye on his woman for your soft master. But it's already dark outside. Do you know where she is? Answer me, huh? Where is she? Sir, please listen to me. Mr. Chung seems to have a dislike for Miss Zhang. I'm afraid, sir, that it will affect Liang Shang's- That's nonsense. My son can be with any woman that he likes. Oh, of course, of course. You're absolutely right. However, I noticed that. Just say it. I noticed that Miss Zhang and Liang Sheng have been drifting apart. Whenever Liang Sheng tries to get close to her, she always gets away. She claims that she's only a guest here, oh, and she still calls him brother. I don't... I don't understand at all. Women are all like this. They like to play hard to get. Not in her case. In my opinion, it may be hard for her to get over the fact that they've been siblings for a very long time. Sung 